gray stuff. And we're here with Rennie Cordial the fifth, um, Greenbrier West lineman. And uh, first of all, Rennie, you guys, you, you made a nice run there in the season. I know that you guys didn't end the season the way you wanted, but you made it into the playoffs. So the expectations have to be a little higher this year. What are your expectations for this squad? My expectations this year is at least nine and one. We have all the right pieces. We have all the right people. Coaching staff's great. Our, our attitudes are great. Our first day of practice has been the best since I've been here. I'm really excited for this year. Um, you look at the uh, the skill that you guys have, and it's pretty deep there. Uh, the line, though, you little thin there. You are the only uh, starter back. Talk about the way you're what you're doing to get these guys up uh, up to speed and get them you know, where they can play at the varsity level. And a lot of those guys are really young. Well. As a lineman, it's always hard being an underdog because you're a lineman and nobody ever gives you any respect. But those guys are my brothers, every single one of them, a freshman to a senior. I love them all. I try to coach them. I try to help them. Anytime they ever need anything, they can always come to me. I gave them most of them my number. They call me if they need me. I always just try to be there for them. How many times do you get a call from one of those guys wanting to know something? Well, it's the majority of the freshmen. It's right. about maybe twice a day. Oh, really? So they're really invested they're, they're, into this? Yeah, they're, they're buying into it. What do you tell them about what it's going to be like for them as freshmen being on the football field? You, you played with some good teams over here. I don't know how much you played as a freshman, but what do you tell them to try to get them ready to where, you know, you got a, an all-state caliber running back in the backfield, you got a quarterback with an experience. Just, um, what do you tell them to get them ready for what they're going to face on the varsity level? You just got to have fun, keep a clear conscience, and go 100% no matter what. Even if you mess up, just go get somebody. And it's all right to hoot and holler. Now, you made a point that, that people should call you Randy Cordial V. I know you're very proud of your family. Talk about uh, that name and, and what that means to you. My name means a lot more than most people know. I love my, I love that little thing we got going on. Randy Allen Cordial the third, fourth, and fifth. My grandpa, Randy Allen Cordial III, was a D1 All-American running back on Meta Bridge. So that, there's football in your background. Yes, sir. Did your dad play too? or? Yes, sir. We just didn't travel down that well. Um, so I guess if you if you have a son at some point, it's going to be the sixth. Keep on that family tradition by Hank William Jr. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is, this is, you do have a, a good back, a, a very physical back in time. What's it like blocking for him? It's fun. All I got to do is push one guy out of the way and watch him eat up somebody else. It's just awesome to have a guy like him behind me. And I always love blocking for him. He's like my brother too. What do you, what if you guys were discussing it as a team? What would you uh, say the team expectations are? We're all expecting to go national championship or state championship. We all want to be great. We all want to be just the best we can possibly be and kick everybody's tail. What your grandfather played at Meadow Bridge, what did it mean to you to put on this uniform? I know Meadow Bridge is a hated rival. Of this program. So, what, what does it mean to you? I mean, you come out here on Friday, you got a motorcycle on the field. I mean, what's it like game night here? It's awesome. Everything's not, I don't even know. It's hard to explain the feelings that you feel when you come out this with the motorcycle and the band and the people in the stands cheering for you. It just really means a lot to put on the uniform and play for Greenboro West. The, um, what have you done to prepare yourself for this? You being the only lead, yeah, I'm, I would imagine being a leader is going to be a big thing for me. What did you do to prepare yourself and get yourself ready? I've worked out almost every every day of every week. I've conditioned with Ty and some other teammates. We went over the plays. We watched Huddle. We tried to prepare ourselves the best that we can be for this year. Do you, it, uh, Ty benefits, obviously, from having uh, Owen Schmidt on staff, and he was a kind of a kind of a folk hero at WVU during his time there. You lineman get anything out of that? I mean, he, he seems like he should be an honorary lineman or something. You know? <laughs> well, he Owen gives the backs and the wide receivers some love, but we'll take what we can get when he ever talks to us. <laughs> whenever he does. Yeah, like whenever it, he does. It doesn't happen all the time. Nah. Huh? Um, who is there a guy on this line that you work with that you think is going to surprise some people? Uh, Trey Franklin. Trey, Frank, Trey Franklin and Whit, Jacob Whit. Those are going to be guys in the next line, great line, next uh, era of great line in here. Yes, sir. West, you think? Yes, sir. Well, you think you'll feel some pride in having been the kind of the leader for them when you leave? I love uh, it. Yeah, I love it. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but gosh, I love being the leader. I love having people ask me questions. I love trying to help my family. Well, I think you would, after this, you will be one of the most searched after interviews in the area. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you, sir.